係你唔會唔到嘅。所以話，我哋仲係 ，it was around midnight when the thing was seen low by a train traveler. When she stepped on her footsteps in the cold darkness, apparently her song had attracted a group of lights from the outside. My dearest child, my mistress, my kind mother, your song has been heard. Goodbye, my dearest child. Says the lizard as he turned and looked through the faint twilight. Faint melody into it, fading away to some far eternal night where he was born. Chapter One, Melody's Song. Melody was in front of a medicine man. <laughs> <laughs> After she left the city, Melody thought they set a two volcanoes down in the mountains. Suddenly, Melody's eyes began to hurt. She fell on the ground, screaming in pain, and as she looked at the blue moon behind her, her shirt tore, leaving only her undershirt and her legs changed into a reptile. New blood was raking up in Melody's throat, soaked in liquid. Which is a book. As Melody landed on the mountain's cape, she walked in and stumbled upon a body. She instantly noticed who it was. Mother. Melody sat next to her mother's body on the ground, singing a lullaby that her mother would sing to her when she was a young. Suddenly, Melody felt her hand on her cheek. Her mother had awoke from death to tell Melody what happened in the past. My dearest child, she went into my face. Her father was arrested and was tried to kill you. And it's been telling lies to the demons and other creatures so they would try to kill you. But he was mean enough to leave you. I was forced to kill you, my dear. But your father got so mad at all the terrible things that he that that he even gave his life for you and killed you. I was severely wounded, but I managed to stay in bed and not be killed. It was not 
appreciate the food and the other the feeling of it. And the feeling of it is just the view. The view makes you feel content. I know I'm not a fan, but I want some food. I want salmon. Not the meat part. I don't want that. That's not part of my eating too. You're the last one of the royal family starving me. I wish mother didn't do drugs to my stomach. Um, now that now that he's gone, I mean, the same smile and says the last breath. Now that he's in such tears, I walk through the cold to find my bed to sleep. Chapter five. The psychotic girl and her mother's defense. Melody passed out ne on out next to her mother's body, but as she lay there, she heard a familiar ho voice say, "Baby, baby, it's time for food." Melody said, who are you? Melody stopped. Melody noticed she was walking into a dark room. As she walked, she drew her breath and exited. It began to try to get her, and that's when it happened. Something in her mind snapped, and stud suddenly, Melody began to hear the popcorn that she made, and she found her mom in her closet away from the door. After she walked out, she felt her her blood, and already in her mind, she heard the voice next to her. She had been released. Only you can save the world. You can escape. Your choice is up to you. Melody looked up and looked into my face, and she noticed she was back in the airport. I didn't kill them. She walked out and saw the whole city in her hair in complete and utter chaos. But she smiled and the three boys in one city were all dead on the ground. So special area to himself. <coughs> she sat up. Melody smiled at her and said in her head, Shh, don't say anything. I just took very deep breaths and cleared the room. In the dream world. <laughs> Melody replied as she peeked in the attic. <laughs> Mortal Pierce crafted in the first duel, vampires and light. They were capable of killing even him. A voice said, whispered in the king's ears, Death is your only escape. Die. Chapter 6. She's insane. She'll kill us all. Run! Melody fell onto her knees. Her mind was being seared with insults and other negatives that causing her to get even angrier and give her less control of her sanity. Melody, don't succumb to the voices. You're not a monster, Mother shouted. Michael smiled as his daughter was quickly becoming insane, and almost instantly, 
Melody went straight through her fire spell, taking a giant empty hit from her spell slot. She fell to his knees, trying to heal, but he couldn't. But then suddenly, Melody ripped through his head from mouth and from the mouth and ripped his head in half. <laughs> completely soaked in blood and was staring at him with a crooked smile, looking like an icy face. He looked at her and said, She's insane. She'll kill us all. Run! Melody had lost all emotion and thought, as well as one, mo one goal on her mind. Kill. She ran after the now fleeing civilians, killing them off one by one. Once the... Once the... Er once they all died, Melody heard bombers and death sentries roll. So she hid herself in a sewer hole, listening as the bombs were being dropped. And the other strat stopped. She heard tanks and footsteps. So Melody waited for the, for the tanks to get on top of the sewer roof. She burst from under the tanks, ripping in half the tanks she was in, killing some of the foot soldiers. Open fire! One of the soldiers shouts as... She shrieks at Mel Melody. As Melody flies up, she stops in front of the moon and stands aside, causing the troops to become very fearful of her, dropping on their dropping their weapons and she lands and humming home along as she brutally rips them to pieces. However, she was merciful on one of them. She was young, maybe sixteen or seventeen. She saw that her, he was wounded, but pierced with two shrapnel in his leg. He was crying. Melody kneeled down and looked at him and felt his heart. He had summoned so young to my world, and you're not ready to die. But I think I am. So she put a piece of cloth in his mouth and poured out shrapnel and bit her wrist, dripping blood on her finger. Pulls out the drips her blood in his mouth and made him swallow it. The boy passed out and Melody began killing the rest of the troops. Then she noticed a beacon on the ground as a boy. Crap! Guns have struck inbound! She shouts as she threw the boy to a rooftop and pulled out her crossbow, lays an EMP arrow in his head and shoots the gun to the bushes, causing the chopper to fall and kill the body, blowing him up. After all was quiet, Melody sat down, letting the young boy run off. Chapter 7, The New Blood After the new blood was waking up in Melody, the rest of the lot, he looked at her, up at her and said, What? What happened? Melody replied saying, Well, it seems like you found out the fact that you were dead. The boy realized where he was, but he couldn't my name. Who are you? The boy said. I'm Melody. That's my name. Sigh. You're still trying to figure out why you're still here. It makes no sense to me at all. You should have been dead by now. I should have left you there to die. Melody returned. Sharp nods and Came back. I know of a secret place here, where a waterfall lurks. I'm the only one who knows about it. I need it. She tries to dress herself. Melody, Melody gave her some thought and said, Let's go. Let's go. I'll fly us there. So Sharp guides her and they came upon a shrine in one of the corners. Sharp sat on her and made the sign for one eating a golden apple. As Melody was thinking of something, they Hey, Sharp, why were you putting your army at such a low age? Melody asked as she put on a black suit with a shirt on. Sharp swallowed the last bite of his apple and replied, I was born in an animal farm, or so to say. 
my real parents, they are still by a life link, and those meshed out the life link still holds me in my hand. Now I appreciate the world. <laughs> I'm sorry. I still I've got to tell you, this is going to hurt. So, are you ready? Philip and said, Hey, you there. Welcome, Philip. Welcome to m my family. I expect you to be my best friend. Philip blushed and 